just fine on its own So much pride it built a second home I, I can't hide behind me no more Princess Silka. people here's your princess silka sweet and sweet and sweet and sound i take care of, of of people i take care of of people around me i take care of the people who are the people around me when i am called in <clears throat> i always did i am making myself available when it matters and i am also making myself available to not be there both of it so when my tree is set and that ends of you know just before april 2nd march he sent me off there. He told me, well, the situation is that the energy has changed so very much. And he needs your help because of the energy he's out for so long overseas. So he needs your help with the energy because it's too harsh right now. Yeah, there was years after that event where people got all weird about, yeah, or treating me like a princess, like an angel, or treating me like a horrible intruder. And me just standing there. By the way, nothing. I did nothing. I didn't talk. I said nothing. <clears throat> so my tour had said then, this is going how it's going to be in five years. And that was that five years. Almost. Almost. Four, actually. And wait. I can tell you exactly. Then. Three and a half. Okay, three and a half. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, well, well, um. so he said, yes, you have to go there and have to help him in because now the place where we live, it's a little bit harsh. Now, haven't I seen that before? So I was willing to go. Just like that. Just because of that. So I went and I stood and I waited and I waited, nothing. And then I went again and I was uncomfortable for saying the least. And I felt stupid. Yes, I had to, but I'm helpful. I do it despite... Yeah, we already knew he was kind of handicapped, right? But he never came. And that was on a... That was at the end of March. I don't know the date. I can figure it out, though. I don't know if it was 30 or 31st. And then on April 2nd, suddenly I had to go sit and had to write a piece of paper. No, actually a stack of paper and a pen. Start writing. And the first thing he made me roll, the first... Um, phrase he made me roll is, now what he really thinks it's about himself. And on and on, eventually it dropped over to computer and all sorts of things were written and eventually printed and was all neatly stacked in a fine sports bag. But <clears throat> when he said, you know, what he really needs is you and wants is you and his children are not his children and his wife is not his wife and they're not even her children like, and he told me about the the trauma, which explained a lot of things. Yeah, that her personal trauma and how she needed someone who took care of her and financially. And that she actually likes women. She's a lesbian, which of course I always saw that from the very beginning she looked to me like that. And then I put an, another few dots together all by myself. I mean, maybe my chair made it, but look, <clears throat> every time I saw her with a woman, she was hitting on this woman. On Halloween, when she walked around on that lunch table where he was very drunk and they were like giggling on the other side and always making like a guy intending to hover over that woman and particularly on that hike. Thank you for the email, she said. Thank you for the email. Yeah, it proceeded two days before. Yeah, I remember that was a Thursday, the email. But on Tuesday, I had done the same route. 
and I bumped into her and another actually pretty woman I mean comparison to her and the other ones she had <clears throat> and they were talking about whatever and I figured <clears throat> immediately that that's just a means of conversation remember I lived in Mexico yeah I can say I'm actually also that partially Mexican I know how people speak and what they intend you can clearly see that you were sitting yeah se la estaba ligando <laughs> yeah se la estaba ligando y grueso y te vieja yeah <clears throat> But since she made up that thing, so I wrote an email recommending her that little item. Which she of course, of course did not contest it. She could, should have just immediately said, oh thanks. But she never did. That's fine. I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Yeah, but why wouldn't she, right? If she was so insisting two days later when I bumped into her and him, that I would actually talk to her. Thank you for the email. Yeah, I didn't say a word. Because I saw him uncomfortable. And then she said it again, no insistent, almost commanding me, I should respond. I just couldn't find a reason why to say anything, well thank you, okay it's done, let's move on. So <clears throat> when Matthias said that, so I sat down and I started to plan. Yeah, my exit here, a new thing there, and she was on my list of course, so make sure she is financially supported with the kids, doesn't matter if it's his or not, it is his, because he took care. I don't know how long they were together. I do not know, but it doesn't matter. Because if, if they were babies so small, they were small. So make sure that she has, you know, a safe place, that she not only has her house or wherever she would like to be, that she's also economically protect, provided for. And then I did a few other things. I, I got a few books for her. I figured a few of her, you know, the preferred clothing she liked and put that all in a little list because it's who I am. I really am that way. I know it sounds weird to you guys, but this, um, I am like that, and that's who I am. Yeah, because of course the first thought is, oh my god, how can I possibly think about a man who is married? No, 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 Matthias, that's not how it goes, that's how it is. Oh. And they don't even have a relationship, see, and now I remembered. Yeah, when I talked to her about... <clears throat> oh, that was later actually, that she confirmed that. Oh yeah, we went here on vacation, we did that, we went there, also excited she was. And I was drowning. I said, what the heck am I doing here? Oh, that was the day I gave her the painting. I just had given her the painting. No, in front of her house. We were standing on the sidewalk talking. I don't know, maybe she was just outside when I arrived or something. Yeah, he must have been in there too, by the way. Watching us, of course. Or not. Oh yes, of course. Now I remember, he must have lurked from behind the window. And then she said, yeah, we did all this and so excited. And I was drowning right there. I said, wow, what the heck am I doing? I'm going to run off right now. And then she ended the phrase with, yes, and Paul went to Thailand. Like he doesn't really belong there. I just wanted to let you know. This is my freedom. This is my voice.